Hello, so I had thought that my next ringed binder uh, video would be for the Filofax Mini I talked about in my last uh, Filofax video. That I was going to set up as an activity and travel binder, but I just have not had time to finish getting it set up. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do instead a video on this Kiki K small textured black time planner that I'm using as my gardening binder. This is a leather planner, but it's the Safiano leather, so you can see the texture on it really nice. Um, I'm, I'm liking it a lot, especially in the smaller size. Um, it's the back, you can see the embossed logo there. And I'm just going to open it up and show you really quickly how I have this set up. I don't have anything really in these pockets, and in here I just have some vegetable stickers that I got at Whole Foods um, from some event that I did, some mom's event, um, but just to use throughout. So I made all these dividers myself, of course, and the first divider is for the first section is for our egg production tracking. We have nine chickens, and so this is a picture of my now four-year-old. I think he was either, I think he was two when this was taken. It was our very first egg. He was almost three. Um, so there he is on my dividers to make me smile. Um, so I'm using the Kiki K month on two pages and just tracking how many eggs we have each day, just using my Stadler pins and color coding. We have six chickens that lay brown eggs, two chickens that lay blue eggs, and one chicken that lays green eggs. Um, so you can see, and I can see when I look back, how many eggs we got each day and what colors they were. So we can just kind of see the trends and who's producing, which I think is going to be fun. So my next section, um, I just cut out some images from a couple of seed catalogs, is for my actual garden. Um, so I have this cute little bunny clip. I got this out of the Southern Exposure Seed Catalog. It is just, I mean, I just folded it, punched it and folded it up. Um, different crops and when to direct sow and transplant them. So with that as my guide, I can get it clipped back here. I then just have another month on two pages. Um, I don't have much going on for the beginning, but you can see here I have when I have bought some seedlings at the farmer's market, um, when I planted certain, uh, I planted kale this time in the left side of the lower raised bed, um, and then when I'm reminded to myself that I'm going to transplant my herbs then, um, transplant my tomato then, and uh, obviously as the summer goes, spring and summer goes on, there will be more stuff filled out. I'm also going to write down any harvests and yields, um, have a whole color coding system planned out. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show how I had it already set up, because this is the time to be setting up something like this. So I'm just going to use a month on two pages and make little notes to myself just to see when I'm doing things and how I can, how it works out for me and how I'm, so I can look back and see how I can do it better for next year. My last section here is just a canning log. Uh, I made these inserts myself for it because I couldn't find anything. It was really easy to make them. Obviously, they are blank right now because I didn't go back and make a log for what I canned last year. I'm still going through some of that. Um, but I will use it this year. I thought this was especially neat on the back. It just seemed to fit the theme. Um, so it's really simple. Canning log. What I canned. What date I canned it on. How many jars I did. And did I follow a recipe? especially for jams and uh, jellies, and if so, I'm going to put where the recipe was. So if it was good, I can use it for the next year. Um, so I just have a few sheets of this just so I can keep track of my canning and uh, what I did with it. And then in the back, just the same Kiki Pad notepad, that, Kiki K notepad that came with it, and another one of my Zebra, I think it's SLF1. It's the telescopic pen that I love in all of these little binders. So there we have it. It's a really simple setup, but it's working for me so far, and I hope that it can just be a guide for me for next year how things um, to see how I do th can do things better to increase our yield. Thanks as always for watching, and I will try and get uh, my, my mini file effects set up so I can make that video soon. Bye.